Okay, so this is the second part of the video where I will guide you to open the blocked account through Expectrio by explaining all the steps in detail. If you haven't already watched the part 1, I request you to please watch it first in order to understand everything about the blocked account. You can find the link of that video in the description and also in the i button above. So the first thing is that the amount for the blocked account till today is still 10,332 euro which means 861 euro per month. This is the official confirmation from the embassy. As you can see on the screen that the amount mentioned in the checklist is still the same. There are few exceptions where some universities specifically ask for more amount by especially mentioning this in the admission letter that they provide to the student. In that case, those students have to deposit the higher amount in their blocked account to fulfill the admission condition of the university and the consulate will also check this during the time of processing visa applications. Otherwise, in general, you only need to deposit minimum amount that is 10,332 euro. If you deposit more amount by your own will then there is no harm in it except that your extra money will also be blocked in that account and you will only get a specific amount every month to spend no matter how much you need it. That's why I advise you to keep minimum amount in your blocked account and transfer the extra money directly to your German bank current account which you will open after arriving in the Germany. This way you can use your extra money as per your requirements and you will not feel bound because generally in the first few months there is more requirement of money. Well coming to the tutorial, let's start with the first step towards opening a blocked account in Expectrio. So this is the website of Expectrio, www.expectrio.com after which you will see this interface. Here you can click what we offer and select value package. In the value package you will get blocked account, incoming insurance which is a travel insurance and health insurance from public or private company. This is based upon the choice and this is also based upon the age factor. If you are above 30 years, then you will get only private health insurance. And if you are below 30 years of age, then you have a choice to get public health insurance or a private health insurance. And there is some difference which you can see on the later part of this video when we will fill the form. So you can select whatever you want and you will also get free current account. This will be the account that you will be using in the Germany. Actually the block account is not usable directly. The money gets blocked here and this block account money gets transferred to the current account which you can use after arriving in the Germany. So this is the basically main account that you will be using there. And this account opening process is very easy but they also guide you or they also provide you assistance in opening that account and you don't have to worry about it. So this is a benefit in taking a value package from Expectio. And you will also get a free ISIC card which have many benefits. So we will click here on apply for a value package. Then you will see a screen like this. Here you have to select what will you be doing in Germany. So like we are a student and you can select from here. If you are a language student, study student, exchange student, bachelor, master. So like for example if I will select the university student master. Then we can select I agree next. Here you have to select your age range. So if you will select anything below 30 years of age, 23 to 30, 18 to 23 or 18 year old, you will get an option to choose between public health insurance or private health insurance. For example, I will show it to you. You will click here and next. Do you have a child? So you can select yes or no. Uh, this actually doesn't matter much at this time, but you should provide the correct information so that after arriving in Germany it will be easier for you to include your children or spouse in your insurance as well so you can select the correct information from here then click next here you will see the block amount is already 861 it is pre-filled you can change it from 861 to up to I think 940 so it depends upon you right now the amount is only 861 officially which is uh, present on the embassy's website and the VSS website but some universities especially demand for higher amount in their admission letter so that requirement is basically of the university and it is only for that specific student it's not a general requirement so if you don't get any instruction from your university regarding the blocked amount then this is the only amount that you need to block per month so for 12 months it will be 10,332 euro this is the account buffer which means uh, the expecto ask you to deposit 100 euro more in case there will be any fluctuation in the currency price the foreign exchange price they can cover it from this 100 euro and this is not any service fees or uh, anything that you are paying extra basically this amount will also get adds into your block account 
सो इफ देयर विल बी नो फ्लक्चुएशन इन द करेंसी एक्सचेंज और नो एक्स्ट्रा ट्रांसफर चार्जेस विल बी एप्लीकेबल टू यू विच जनरली डजेंट हैपन विद एनी वन सो यू विल गेट दिस हंड्रेड यूरो एक्स्ट्रा टू योर ब्लॉक अकाउंट सो योर ब्लॉक अकाउंट विल रिफ्लेक्ट टेन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड थर्टी टू यूरो दिस फोर्टी नाइन यूरो इज अ फीस विच एक्सपेक्टिव चार्ज फॉर अ इनिशियल सेट ऑफ फीस एंड दिस इज द सेम अमाउंट दैट यू विल गेट एज अ कैश बैक इफ यू विल टेक दिस पैकेज एंड यू विल एक्टिवेट योर हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस आफ्टर रीचिंग जर्मनी दिस सिक्सटी यूरो सर्विस फीस इज द सम ऑफ मंथली फीस फाइव यूरो फीस विच विल बी चार्ज सो द टोटल अमाउंट दैट यू नीड टू पे इज टेन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड फोर्टी वन यूरो एंड दे आर ऑल्सो शोइंग यू द कैश बैक विच दे से दैट इट्स अ इनिशियल सेट ऑफ फी ऑफ फोर्टी नाइन यूरो विल बी चार्ज बाई एक्सपेक्टिव फॉर द ओपनिंग ऑफ द ब्लॉक अकाउंट हाउ एवर वंस यू एक्टिवेट योर ब्लॉक अकाउंट एंड हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस यू विल रिसीव अ कैश बैक ऑफ फोर्टी नाइन यूरो सो यू विल क्लिक नेक्स्ट एंड हेयर यू विल फाइंड द डिटेल ऑफ योर पैकेज द ब्लॉक अकाउंट हेयर यू कैन सी ऑल द बेनिफिट ऑफिशियली एक्सेप्टेड अप्रूव बाय जर्मन फेडरल ओपन योर ब्लॉक अकाउंट इन योर होम कंट्री मनी बैक गारंटी इन केस ऑफ वीजा रिजेक्शन विच इज अ गुड थिंग फोर्टी नाइन यूरो सेट ऑफ फीस फाइव यूरो मंथली सर्विस चार्ज रिसीव ऑफिशियल ओपनिंग कन्फर्मेशन विद इन वन बिजनेस डेज सो यू विल गेट ओपनिंग कन्फर्मेशन विद इन वन बिजनेस डेज बट द एक्चुअल कन्फर्मेशन दैट विल बी यूज फॉर द वीजा विल टेक अराउंड थ्री टू फाइव डेज डिपेंडिंग अपॉन हाउ फास्ट योर मनी ट्रांसफर विल रीच एक्सपेक्ट यू आई हैव जनरली सीन If you will transfer money through Indian bank, which I will tell you in the later part of this video how to do it, you have to do the RTGS, and the RTGS amount reaches expectio within 24 to 48 hours. So basically, in most of the cases, I have seen that you will get confirmation, a block account confirmation, within two to three days maximum. Then you will also get a current account. You will have a choice, free choice of provider. there are three four service providers these are the banks and other online service providers which you can choose to open your current account with in germany they will give you a setup support your application will be digital and this will be directly linked to your block account for payout so it will save a lot of hassle for you generally if you open a block account with any other banks like uh, kotak mahindra or deutsche bank so you have to open a current account in germany and then you have to do many other paperwork and application Processes to connect your block account with your current account, which you can easily avoid here. Then you will get a health insurance. If you will select the public health insurance, you will get a health insurance from TK, which is a very good company, and most of these people generally prefer to get a health insurance from TK because their service is very good and there are many benefits. But I will tell you in a brief that uh, mostly everything is. covered either you will take a public insurance or a private insurance the basic things that are required for a health insurance to be eligible in germany are all covered in every health insurance then you will get a incoming insurance which is a travel insurance so right now if you will see most of the health insurance companies either public or private they generally provide you this incoming health insurance or you can say the travel insurance and this is nothing but a uh, extension of a insurance like this tk is providing the incoming insurance through dr walter if you have taken a private health insurance then this you will find the health insurance will also be from dr walter and the incoming insurance will also be from the dr walter so in the end of this video i will show you that uh, one file will be without any date which will be serving as your health insurance after reaching germany and you will also get one more pdf which will look absolutely same just there will be a difference that the date will be mentioned on it so the date that will be mentioned is the date from which your travel insurance will be considered and that will be valid for up to 92 days and 92 days are sufficient to cover your traveling because you only need the travel insurance from the day you will board your flight till the date you will get yourself registered with the university so i think that will take maximum 3 to 5 days or a one week at max it will take around 10 to 15 days because your visa that you will get from here will also be valid only for 90 days and once you will arrive in germany and you will get registered yourself with the university then your visa will also convert into the residence visa and your travel insurance will also get converted to health insurance so 92 days are more than enough then you will also get a free isic card so you will click on apply now here you have to fill all your details we will do it later let's see what happens if we will select our age greater than 30 years so here if we will select at least 30 and younger than 40 then you will see the amount 
will remain same everything remains same but once you click next you will get only to choose between the packages of private health insurance in the case of expecto this insurance is provided by dr walter and they have three packages comfort comfort plus and plus in the comfort all the basic things are covered except the dental treatments you can check more information here here you can see all the comparison so i have already seen that's why i am telling you that there is not much difference but the basic difference between comfort and comfort plus is that in the comfort plus you will get also get the dental treatments included in it most of the things are same if you will see this dental treatment for pain relief up to 500 euro and in the comfort plus it's unlimited well in the comfort plus the middle one plan if you will see the price up to 39 years you have to pay 59 euro up to 39 years means if your age is below 39 years then you have to pay 59 euro and this amount is valid for 19 months the renewal period of that insurance is 19 month so like for 19 months your contract will be valid and every month you have to pay this amount if you will not pay this amount then your health insurance will be lapsed and you have to renew it but till 19 months your amount will be the same 59 euro after 19 months your amount will increase to 85 euro you might find it a little bit expensive but as i have compared all the benefits of dr walter with other service providers in the private category of insurance i found that this is not expensive because other company offers very few benefits in the amount although they charge a lesser amount like 25 or 30 euro but the benefits are far lesser than what dr walter is offering in 59 euro and if you will compare it with the public insurance then it's really in the less price because in the tk if you are below 30 years the amount is somewhere around 100 euros per month so i personally prefer that get this package in 59 euro and it will cover everything it can be a very good option for you and yeah one more thing that uh, this uh, dr walter insurance although this is a private company but they offer you a cashless service like you can go to the doctor and show your card and they will uh, give you a treatment and they will get a money from insurance company so you don't have to pay anything from your pocket well uh, this is about the insurance let's go back so here this is the brief of these three plans which i told you that comfort plus the middle plan is the perfect one so you can select it then you will see here you will get block account same thing as i have shown you earlier the current account the private health insurance here you will find that they have not mentioned the incoming health insurance so don't get confused i have already checked with the customer care and they told me and i also have seen myself that after getting this package you will get a email and you will also see in your dashboard that there will be two insurances the private health insurance section and another section where it will be mentioned health insurance with date so the health insurance with date is actually your travel insurance and the normal health insurance is your health insurance which will be start after arriving in germany now we'll click on apply now the same form here you can see you can also insert a invitation code here if you will have a reference from somebody and click next then you have to select do you already have a german address if yes then you have to provide the address like if you have already booked your accommodation if you don't have a german address then you can just select no and provide your existing address here the address in india it can be a address that you have on your passport or the current address that you are living at then click next here you will select your academic background which university are you visiting in germany so you can see the list of universities here you can select your university from this list most probably you will get your university listed in this if not then you can select my university is not listed and you can provide the name of your university here then the city of your university campus what are you going to do like for mba i have selected business administration and if you don't know your major then you can select i don't know yet if you have not planned it or you can select my major is not listed so you can enter it by yourself here you have to enter what is your estimated arrival date in germany 
you can enter the date here like my classes will be starting from 1st october so i am planning to travel on 28th of uh, september i can select this date this is the date that they will consider to start your travel insurance but don't worry you can enter any expected date here right now and later you will also get a chance to change it for example if you will apply for the visa and your visa arrives after this date or you plan to travel after this date for any reason then you can just log into your uh, account and you can change this date and this date will also get changed in your travel insurance and your travel insurance will start from your new date that you will enter in your portal so this is nothing to be worried about what is your estimated start date of studies in germany this is also same thing you can enter it right now and you can change it later if you want next what is your nationality country you are located next here you have to give your passport image now remember one thing many times the this image gets rejected once you upload it because generally what we do we upload the scan copy of our passport so to get approval in the first time you just need to do one thing that take out the passport and click the photograph of that passport using your mobile phone first click the front page of the passport and then click the last page of your passport and then combine those photos into one pdf which you can do it easily online for example i will show it to you you can search jpg to pdf online and you will find this there are many websites let's for example let's select this i love pdf.com then you have to select the jpg images once you click on this you will get option to select as many images as you want so you can select those two images and then just click on the generate pdf and it will generate one single pdf for you with two pages inside it and then you can upload that file here and that will be accepted by this portal easily in the first go itself so you won't face any problem after that you have to enter your passport number here which should be the same as you have yeah one more thing if you don't want to do this right now you can select i want to upload my passport later and click next but if you'll do it right now then this will be a good thing because your application will be smoothly get processed in a single go and the chances are that you will get your approval within few hours and you will click next and just have to click i confirm i confirm this is regarding the block account and your health insurance and everything and the last point is i want to receive the news and advertisement so you can deselect it if you don't want the advertisement from expect you then you can confirm and submit once you click submit you will see that you will get this email which states that you have applied for your expectrio value package and you will also get option to upload your passport if you haven't done in the earlier step then you can upload your passport again by clicking on this link and you will find they will state that your application is in review and they will get back to you within 24 hours and there are few more instructions that you can check through these links like you will receive an email once the application is approved afterward you can initiate the money transfer to your blocked account for other tips you can watch their videos and as i have taken the private health insurance so they have already given me the dr walter insurance confirmation which is available to download in my portal here you can see they have given me the private health insurance certificate and these will be provided even before you will transfer your money to your account and as i told you earlier that you will have two insurance certificates this one is the health insurance certificate which will be activated and eligible once you arrive in germany and this the health insurance certificate with dates is the one which works as a travel insurance for you one more thing you can see here i have a 06 block account confirmation this will be given only after your complete money transfer this will only be available for you once uh, your money transfer reaches expectrio but before that you can get this 02 pre contractual information this can work for you in case if you have transferred the money to expectrio but they have not yet given you the confirmation and your visa appointment date is coming closer so you can just uh, download this pre contractual information and you can attach your transfer receipt with that document 
and you can apply for the visa by the way if you will transfer the money it doesn't take much time so even if you have just a time of one week then i think you can easily get this 06 block amount confirmation and that i will show you in the later part of this video that how you can transfer money which can reach faster to expect you for the further processing same is in the case of public health insurance you will get all these documents from the tk your health insurance and traveling insurance and you will also get this notification to university which you can download and send it to your university this is the email that you will get after your blocked account will be approved and will be ready to initiate the transfer once you will log into your portal you can see all the details on the dashboard where you can check the amount and the time here you will see the awaiting transfer notification to initiate the transfer you have to click on the transfer now button after this you will see this page where you have to select the country from where you are transferring the money then you have to check this box i hereby declare and click next on the next page you will see some important points regarding the transfer like local currency transfer and the usd transfer euro transfer what are all the options available to you regarding the transfer details i will tell you more details in the next step where i will show you which transfer works like what and how you can choose the best one for you so once you click next you will see this screen here you will find four options of transferring payment so i will explain every option in detail so that you can decide which is the best option for you first i want to tell you that there is a limit of doing foreign transaction on an individual which is around 7 lakh rupees which is tax free if an individual exceed the foreign transaction of 7 lakh rupees in the current financial year then he have to pay 5 percent or 10 percent tax over the amount that will exceed 7 lakh rupees and this is considered on the basis of the pen card so no matter how many accounts an individual uses to transfer the amount but all the transactions will be considered together to analyze the limit of the 7 lakh rupees this means if you have to transfer the whole amount in your blocked account then there are two options either you have to pay all amount from one single account where you have to pay extra tax over the amount that will exceed 7 lakh rupees or you can use two three different accounts of different individuals but they should be your blood relatives like your father mother brother sister uncle auntie etc so so that they all can utilize their forex transaction limit and they should remain under the 7 lakh limit in order to avoid the tax payable and this limit applies not only to the transactions that you are going to do in the expectio but this limit will be considered on all the transactions that has been done by that individual within the current financial year in expectio you can transfer your payment in any number of parts there is no limit on how many accounts you want to use but they will give you a confirmation only when they will get total amount transferred in their account second important point is that you have to fill a2 form which is required and mandatory for any individual doing a forex transaction from india this a2 form is a very simple form and in the later part of this video i will show it to you how expectio provides this form and how you need to fill it and submit it in the expectio portal now as you can see there are four options through which you can transfer the payment to your blog account in expectio the first option is domestic bank transfer in this you will get a local bank account where you just have to transfer all the money as a normal rtgs through online banking or by physically going to the bank but this option is expensive and you also need to fill the paper a2 form which means you need to take a printout of the a2 form and fill it and sign it and someone will come to you to collect this form physically only after which you will be able to transfer the money to the expectio so i don't recommend this option to anyone the second option is domestic bank transfer with electronic a2 form this is the best way to transfer the money to expect you and these days if you will see your panel there will be few changes in it and these days you will find this option on the top in your account because recently expect you has done a collaboration with a local indian company where they provide a good forex transaction exchange rate and they also provide very fast transfer service and they also promote it 
rate so basically by selecting this option you will get a good currency exchange rate and that rate will be logged in your account for around 8 minutes in which if you will do the transaction then you will have to pay only that amount that will be shown on your screen although you can done the RTGS transfer later but you have to proceed by selecting this option and complete all the formalities within this time frame to log this amount so if you choose this option you get an electronic A2 form which means the form will be filled by Expectio and you just have to take its printout and put your bank name and account number from which you will be transferring the money and sign that form and upload it back to the Expectio portal after which you can just do the RTGS online through your bank or you can physically visit your bank branch and ask them to transfer the money to the local bank account that Expectio provides you although this transaction will be done locally but this will be considered as a forex transaction and the 7 lakh limit is applied to this transaction as well the third option is international bank transfer this option is not very good option for Indians but if you have any relative outside India and he wants to transfer money to your block account then you can ask him to use this option because in this option you can pay the block amount in USD which is a good thing where you can save some money on currency conversion charges and the last option is international bank transfer which is a very simple option but a slow option because by selecting this option you have to transfer the money in euro and for that you can use any service like western union or transfer wise thomas cook or you can also transfer through your bank but you might have to pay extra forex transaction charges and the service charges of the companies that you will use to transfer the money and also as i told you this is the slowest process because expect you take more time in getting confirmation if you use this service so basically my suggestion is that you should use the option of electronic a to form where you can easily transfer the money online and you can get a blocked account confirmation within three to four days either you select a first option or a second option after clicking the next you will see this screen where you have to provide the details that who will be transferring the money like if you are doing it from your own account then you have to select me and if any of your relative is doing the transaction on your behalf then you have to select someone else after after selecting someone else you have to give the basic detail of that person like the name address phone number and the compliance detail where you have to tell their source of money from where they will be transferring like their saving account or FD or business income anything like this and you also have to tell how much amount they are going to transfer so that all these details will be pre-filled in your A2 form once you fill all the fields and click submit on the next screen you will get an option to download this A2 form after downloading and opening this form you will find that most of the fields will be pre-filled like here you will find the name of that person from whom account you will be using to transfer the money and you will find the amount here as you can see here i have 7541 euro selected to transfer from one of my accounts so you can also do part payments like this here i will be paying only 6 lakh and 18000 which is below 7 lakh to avoid the tax so all these fields will be pre-filled and you will find the pan card number of that person here and the address of that person here you just need to fill the bank name and the bank account number by yourself and this you can fill after printing out this form or you can also use the pdf filler to fill this and you just need to put these two things and remember this bank name and account number should be same that you will be using to transfer this much of amount in rupees to your expected blocked account and you need to make sure that the amount and the bank number should matches with your transaction rest you don't have to fill anything or you don't have to do anything here you can just leave it as it is and you can see the next page you can also check the name here this should also be the same name and here and you need to get the signature of that person here like if you are transferring from your account then you need to put your signature here and if you are transferring the amount from your father's account or mother's account then you need your father's signature here or your mother's signature here whichever is applicable so this is a very simple form you just need to fill this and then take a signature and then scan these two pages and upload it in the expectio portal in the blocked account section you will find the space to upload the a2 form after uploading the form you can just transfer your amount using your online banking facility or you can go to your bank physically and transfer through rtgs
so this is all about how to open a block account i hope i have covered all the answers to the important questions if you still have any doubt or question then you can also join our telegram group where we all students try to help each other as much as possible with all our experience and knowledge and you can get instant answer to your questions i will give the link of this group in the description below you can also check our website where you can find the latest blogs about the important topics that we try to keep updated and you can also find a forum on our website where you can find the answers to most commonly asked questions still if you have any further question you can write in the comment below where i will try to answer each one of you thank you very much for watching have a successful life ahead take care bye bye